welcome back in cool IT help objective of this video to show you how you can set up the Casper JS on your Windows machine and we will see how we can navigate and can take a screenshot with a simple sample.js so I have created this file the objective I have defined we're going to set up Casper JS and we're going to run the very first script sample.js from the console and what is inside this script we are going to navigate the particular URL and going to take this screenshot okay that's right uh, in advance I have uh, given the download URL that is mentioned on my notepad the same URL is mentioned in the description box below so you guys just copy from that place so we are moving the first step this is a prerequisite here we need to install the phantom JS before running the Casper JS script so let's this is the place paste it the here okay this is open this is the download page for the phantom js so choose the windows zip file and just click on it and it will be downloaded on your system and as well as i will download the casper js so just choose the second url copy for the casper js the url is this one so just copy here and uh, go to the browser and paste it oh that's great as a, a white guy is laughing here okay this is the download button and download the casper js okay once it is ready on your machine just go to the download folder for the easy Yes, I'm going to copy from this these two zip files from the download folder and moving it to the desktop. Okay, with the desktop. Okay, here is the desktop and the Casper JS. Okay, already I have pasted here the two zip file. So let's see the first with the Phantom JS. Just extract the Phantom JS. Okay, we have extracted. Now look into this what is inside this package but installation is not done until we set up the phantom js so just look into it. this folder okay that's right the bin folder just copy the path up to bin folder and we have to give this path in the environment variable come here and uh, right click on the computer okay go to the properties okay now choose the advanced settings click and uh, go to the advanced tab and here the environment variable click on it okay now that's fine i'll come here so we will find the path variable click on it there are lots of values here just click on it okay at the end place the semicolon and uh, okay copy the path here we can see that the phantom js.ex is located so we go inside the bin folder and we'll copy the path from here and we'll paste it to this place variable value okay that's great we have done just click on ok again press ok now click ok that we have done the sub step setting up the path for phantom js is done now we have to check that uh, it is installed properly or not so we have to test via the test script that i have created i will show you what is the test script so just open the cmd you can open from cmd that place and navigate to the folder where the script is placed uh, let me show you what is inside the script come to our parent folder here is the test script that I have created open it in the edit mode okay let's see here there's a simple script to test 
uh, first I have created the variable page this is going to be open this is a syntax you can just copy as it is and uh, there's a URL uh, this have a value this is some uh, website so you can uh, paste your variable as well there's no issue and paste dot open and this is the main thing the page dot open going to open that particular URL in, in internal browser and if it is successfully done the function will return the status value will be success and here the statement console dot log that is going to be pasted the status variable value on the console after that we have last statement phantom dot exit to close the phantom exe so this is a simple test script you can just copy and paste and save it as I have done okay now close it and another way to open the command prompt where you are just click on the address bar type cmd and you are in the same place the casper just the path is already set okay just type here phantom p h a n t o m j s space p e s t test dot j s and press enter just wait for a second have got a success that's right so our phantom.js is successfully installed the internal browser navigated to the given URL and got a success okay as I close this and uh, we have done the prerequisite steps completed we got a successfully set up now moving to the second uh, step this is uh, starting from the download casper.js that we have already done so this is the casper.js zip file just uh, right click and extract to the casper.js folder and just look into it what is inside this folder okay the same structure the supporting files go to the win folder and here's the path so just copy this path we're going to place the same path in the environment variable for the Go to the computer do the right click click on the properties and here come at the advanced settings and this window will appear under the advanced section click here environment variables and here you can see the path and just click on it and you can see the path so we have to add this value here then click ok and ok and close and uh, we are done with the environment variable. Uh, the Casper.js script execution with a simple sample.js file. Here's the sample.js file that uh, here we have written. Let me explain you. Uh, this is the common steps that you have to write in every .js file. This is the page setting that if you want to load the images at the time of navigation then make it true otherwise place it false because if you place it, place it false then it will be much faster and the load plugins is false and the user agent that you have to do the exactly what I have done and here's the URL we're going to navigate and this is the syntax casper.start that you have to place it here and in the final and that uh, the main logic is written inside the casper dot then function here you will see that the like line number 13 is a console dot log this is statement going to print some uh, thing that you will give on the console an execution that you will be notified that that is your script to do script is doing something and in the next step there is a casper dot then open URL then open URL okay this one is to navigate the URL so I have passed the URL variable here so write the same syntax now next move on the uh, other statement this is again a casper dot then function so let me 
notify you the navigating to the given URL that the variable I have defined the URL okay that's fine okay go to line number 16 this is a casper dot then functions I have defined the viewport and the console log it's a viewport that is defined the area that the script is going to take a screenshot of that and this is the console.log it will be printed on the console and this is the main function that will take the screenshot this statement will take the screenshot casper.caption and you have to give the name of the image at this place you can give the name of anyone and here at the last line that you have to place casper.run function now the script is ready so we will test our casper.js script execution from the command prompts come at here uh, the bin folder okay no problem where we have placed so move to the casper.js folder okay here we have a sample.js file again do the same thing is the cmd and okay play cmd click and it is open here and just type the command casper js space sample dot js look at here we have inside the casper js folder this is the statement here the casper js folder the same folder where we have kept our our sample dot js file that this script will execute okay press enter okay now wait navigating the site it's the console log and the capture screen dot with the second log statement let's see here uh, this is the console log capturing a screenshot okay now let quit into the folder here we have an image created now open it okay we have the screenshot of that page we navigated and this is the viewport this is the view area that we have defined 800 by 800 so guys this is the way you can set up the casper js and run the test script on your machine and you will take the screenshot and navigate to the particular url so i hope you will like this video so guys please subscribe my channel cool it help for the more upcoming useful videos uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.